Hello and thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. All you people that have been interested in upgrading your laptops, we're upgrading and have upgraded, I'm sorry. We, I did upgrade the M15X with the 970 M video card uh, with an i7-940XM processor as well. It's going to be up against the Alienware 15 2015 model. It took me forever to figure out how to install the driver on the 970M. I had to modify the uh, INF file for the NVIDIA driver and uh, thanks be to SLV7 for not directly communicating with me because I've never spoken to him or uh, talked to him on the forums but thank, well really thanks be to, to him developing an INF file that I could use even though it was an old one I uh, just copied and pasted it over to the new newest NVIDIA driver uh, also thanks be to the guys at Tech Inferno for uh, commenting on my forum kind of lead me in the right direction as far as the INF file was concerned in order for the Alienware M15X to recognize the 970M, the driver for it. So glad for that. Also, I want to thank the guy that I bought the 970M from off of eBay. Definitely wasn't a a budget card, but it is a great card. And so Woodstacks, I'll post the link to his eBay page for the 970M below. I'll, I'll try to also post it in the video when I get this thing done. Uh, in the meantime. We're going to see who wins this battle between the current Alienware 2015 computer laptop. It's the Alienware 15 with the 965M card in it, as well as 8GB RAM and the i5 processor. And then we have the old school M15X upgraded to the i7-940XM processor with 8GB RAM and a 970M 6GB NVIDIA graphics card. Now when I ran Firestrike, the benchmarking uh, tool, I have them both running at 1600 by 900 for the resolution. And the reason why is because my M15X was a kind of a low budget version of it back in the day. I ended up buying it from a guy on the internet and I paid 60 bucks for the M15X. It came with the uh, 1600 by 900 screen and the i7 740 QM processor at the time that I bought it. I, I, the reason I only paid $60 was because I traded him some Turtle Beach headphones, a couple of other things, comic books and Turtle Beach headphones for it. So I, I thought it would be my little project laptop. So it served served its purpose. It was well worth the Turtle Beach headphones and the 60 bucks. And then I got the Alienware 2015-15 edition from uh, trading a desktop for it. So. Hopefully you're as excited as I am, or as I was, about seeing what the upgraded M15X can do. And I know there's a lot of dot hardcore, you know, M15X upgrade upgrading people out there. I especially saw that at Tech Inferno, so hopefully this will be a good video for you. And in quite all honesty, as as when I was trying to figure out how to upgrade my laptop, I could not find any YouTube videos running an M15X with a 970M. So maybe this is the first, or maybe there's one hidden out there. But um hope you enjoy it. These are the results here. As you can see, you got 1,900 combined score for the 2015 edition of the Alienware 15. And, of course, on the M15X, the combined score is 2,271. So the M15X wins out against the New York 2015 edition of the Alienware 15. Uh, so, great. Hey, man. It's worth the upgrade. Also, um, I would like to add that I'm going to be adding some gaming benchmarks on here for the M15X. Uh, I have run a Battlefield 4 on it. I'll up the, upload that video later. Uh, there was, I think, a little bit of bottlenecking that occurred because I was hitting 100 frames per second on high, and then it jumped down to like 30 frames per second. But uh, we'll see what that problem is and see if I can fix that. But hey, great laptop, especially when it's upgraded. Thanks for watching.